Revolutionary optimism is not live, laugh, love, rebranded. And it is not fatalist, but materialist. Marxism shows us that capitalism creates its own gravediggers, us, the working class. Capitalism, by its nature, develops in stages that are rife with contradictions. These contradictions boil over, and at some point, a revolutionary situation presents itself. Google Lenin revolutionary situation if you're not familiar with that. We are optimistic because all of this means that we can win. We can exploit the weakness that these contradictions are to the parasitic capitalist system. We outnumber them and we can out-organize them. History proves at least this much. Communism can win and communism will win because quite literally it's the only way forward. Rosa was right when she said socialism or barbarism and history shows us that oppressed peoples cannot be subdued forever. Likewise, systems of oppression cannot go on indefinitely. Barbarism may temporarily have the advantage, but it too will fall. As Marxist-Leninists, we can look to the victories of the Bolsheviks or the Chinese Revolution or many others who were also fighting an uphill battle for inspiration. We can look to Cuba or Vietnam or numerous other countries that are currently being led by Marxist-Leninists or communist or various socialist parties or even just other anti-capitalist communalistic forms to see that our late stage capitalist nightmare too will come to an end. Remember, Antonio Gramsci, while imprisoned in fascist Italy, wrote in his notebooks the famous line, pessimism of the intellect, optimism of the will. Well, under those conditions, he wrote that line. If Antonio could muster some revolutionary optimism under those conditions that would eventually lead to his death, then so can we, comrades. Socialism in our lifetime.